Shat's standard floor loom trap adds convenient storage to your standard floor loom. The sturdy nylon cloth can hold your shuttles, other tools, even sharp scissors, right at the front of the loom. You can clamp the trap to the front legs of your loom when you're weaving and remove it for warping. The trap is available in cherry or maple to match your loom. It comes in two sizes to fit all 36-inch and 45-inch standard floor looms. Assembly is simple. You'll just need a number two Phillips screwdriver and a helper or a small table to support the cloth sleeve. Identify the parts. Left and right rod supports, two clamp blocks, two cross rods, one cloth sleeve, four spacers, four two and one quarter inch machine screws with blunt ends, four one and three quarter inch sheet metal screws with pointed ends. Install the rod supports. Insert a machine screw through one hole of a clamp block. Place a spacer over the screw shaft. Orient the left rod support with the gray material facing up. Orient the clamp block so the screw will go into hole A. Tighten the screw just enough to hold the pieces together. The clamp block should still rotate freely. Repeat this step with the other clamp block and the right rod support. Attach the screw loosely at hole A so the clamp block can rotate. Place the left rod support on the left front leg of your loom just below the front beam. Insert a machine screw through the empty hole in the clamp block, place a spacer on the shaft, and insert the screw into hole B of the rod support. Tighten just enough to hold the pieces together. Repeat this step with the right rod support, installing it on the right front leg of your loom. Make sure both rod supports are at the same height. Tighten all four machine screws securely so the rod supports don't slip on the legs. Install the cross rods. Slide the cross rods into the casings on the cloth sleeve. Set the cloth sleeve in position between the rod supports. Have a helper hold everything in place or rest the sleeve on a small table. Using two sheet metal screws, attach the cross rods to one rod support. These screws fit very tightly into their holes. Rub the threads with a bar of soap to make them easier to attach. Use a manual screwdriver, ratcheting screwdriver, or power screwdriver. Do not use a drill fitted with a screw bit, as this can damage the cross rods. A narrow side of the cross rods should be at the top. Tighten these screws just enough to hold the cross rods in place. Attach the cross rods to the remaining rod support on the other side of the loom. You can tighten both screws fully. Go back to the first rod support and fully tighten both sheet metal screws. Your trap is now assembled and ready to hold your tools. Whenever you want to move or remove the assembled trap, release the clamp blocks. We do not recommend removing the cross rods and cloth sleeve. To raise or lower the trap, loosen the four machine screws holding the clamp blocks, but don't remove them. You can now slide the trap up and down on the front legs of the loom. Set the trap at your preferred height, then retighten all four screws. If your loom is unwarped when you want to remove or reinstall the trap, release the clamp blocks in the same way by loosening all four machine screws. Now lift off the front beam of the loom, then slide the trap up and off the front legs or down and onto the front legs. Set the trap at your preferred height and tighten the clamp blocks. If your loom is warped 
When you remove or reinstall the trap, you have to release the clamp blocks differently. Fully unscrew the machine screw and spacer from hole B of each rod support. Remember B for back. Swing down the clamp blocks and pull the trap forward off the loom. Then reattach the hardware so it doesn't get lost. To reinstall the trap on a warp loom, just reverse these steps. Swing the clamp blocks down, push the trap back onto the front legs, and reattach the hardware. You'll find more accessories for your standard floor loom on our website.